If the American people knew that they were involved in a tricky game of poker, and what's the stakes? Your stimulus check, folks. If you knew, you'd probably fold and tear the place up. But before we start, Please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse Alert Community and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. All right, coming on here, you know, over the weekend, we made it to another weekend, all right? So, welcome to the Stimulus Check Update, you know, you, you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, here we are today, October 24th, on a Saturday, you know, I wish to discuss just some of the stuff that I heard overnight. You know, the Senate planned to advance a $500 billion targeted stimulus plan, however says it's not... You know, however, says that it's not going to be a last bill and we actually gonna need a third stimulus check. You know, but first of all, if you're, you know, subscribed to this community, you know, I just wanted to welcome you back. And if you're not, you know, think about subscribing right now. It's free. But OK, so it's great to be with you again. You know, thank you for all of your assistance yesterday. You know, I ran out, ran out of time uh, when I was trying to gather some information on um, what's actually been going down up to the minute. But, you know, today, Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury, the Treasury Secretary, and likewise, Nancy Pelosi, who was the Speaker of the House, they're still working together to get a stimulus deal done, they say, for the American people. Uh, so the focus has changed a bit. You know, now they're saying that they want to get a stimulus check done for the American people, separate from all the bailouts of uh, states and local governments. You know, um, Pelosi said that it is necessary that an offer be finalized, you know, back in Wednesday. And um, but upon doing some research, uh, upon doing some research, it, it that appears to be just a bluff statement because Wednesday is coming past. And, you know, uh, maybe Nancy Pelosi would do such a thing because she is presuming that her presidential candidate, Joe Biden, is going to win. And by winning, that would make President Trump a lame duck president who she thinks will not wish to help out American people if he loses. Um, so for this particular point, in fact, you know, I believe she is saying that absolutely nothing would get done until February when Joe Biden is put into place. Now, on the opposite side, the Trump, you know, uh, party is saying that they want to do a deal now, you know, and for Pelosi to give up holding it up. You know, President Trump stated that he would prefer to do an offer and get cash out to people. But when he wins, he will do a stimulus package right now. So he is stating that I will get this thing done now if they'll put it in front of me. So it's still a whole bunch of talk, ladies and gentlemen, that's going on right now. You got one, you know, it, it just seems like what's happening is like we in the, as the American people are watching a big poker game, you know, and you got poker faces and you got people bluffing and you got the other one hoping that the other one will fold and just let them win and you know but you know you you may be sitting there thinking right now as you're watching this big political poker game that you know you got life to live you're not really concerned about this game you didn't sign up for this game you know everybody talking about when they'll win and you know i would definitely put that in in into location right away and you know however once again on the opposite side pelosi is saying she thinks he's going to lose and therefore something might not get done until february when joe biden has the ability to do it you know so you know you got wait on us and it's sort of like done with a control finger pointing you know what i'm saying you got to just wait on us to do it we're the ones that's going to kind of be your financial saviors right now so again you know i'm a, you know i'm gonna attempt to stay objective you know because you know you really can't be mad at either party because they all just playing poker so you know i'm doing my finest you know rendition of being objective right here so however you know this is i believe the thinking behind the february comment that nancy pelosi made now nancy pelosi simply did a bit of extra research study she's not budged on her two point two trillion dollar number in over 60 days you know have you realized that it's been over 60 days while republican politicians in the last 60 days moved their target amount from one trillion dollars now to approximately 1.9 trillion dollars so they went up a point nine they went up nine points you know prior to that pelosi was saying that hey we we boiled down a trillion dollars you know so we have actually done our part however in the last 60 days there's been no motion on the democrat side and there has actually been motion on the republican side you see what i'm saying they moved on their offer, but Nancy and the Democrats is just stay planning. You know what I'm saying? Again, simply attempting to let you pe let people, American people understand. I'm simply attempting to just let you understand that, you know, where we're at right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's the weekend now. And um, Senator Mitch McConnell says that the Senate will be installing a $500 billion stimulus plan proposal to be voted on and, you know, to see if they can get a targeted bill through, you know, that would offer cash to schools, small businesses. And, you know, they're working for their constituents. They're working for the people who put 
money behind them to get collect, you know, to get elected, you know, small businesses and those that have unemployment, you know, uh, needs as well for the next several months. So he's wanting to just kind of break up, break it all apart and make sure that he get money in there for schools, uh, small businesses and people on unemployment. But, you know, you let me know in the comments, what do you think about it? So, you know, he's trying to make a very targeted bill. You know, it does not have a stimulus check in it. You see what I'm saying? So he's got everything except a stimulus check in it. So the question is, why are they trying to break? First, they had it overweighted in fact with, you know, uh, money for local governments and states and they took that out, but now they're taking a whole stimulus check out. So hmm, what do you guys feel about that in the comments? Um, it's believed that the Senate is hoping that they, you know, hoping that they can pass a bill with targeted goals and have it sent out, you know, over to the House of Representatives. Now, the only way that it has an opportunity of moving forward in the House and not being dead on arrival as some of, as most of the slim and skinny bills have been recently is if enough Democrats break ranks. I'm talking about step across the aisle with Nancy Pelosi too. And you know, she's been planning in order to get money to their voters prior to the election. Now, remember all, all of the House of Representatives, you know, Democrats and Republicans. So both sides, you know, they're now beyond Washington and they are pushing to save their seats or push their presidential candidate forward. However, you know, they appear like a lot of promise breakers, you know what I'm saying? As they've been since July, right? You know, I mean, so it's not going extremely well for them. You know, everybody in their home states are saying, hey, you, you hadn't made good on what you already said, you know, to get elected. You know, you said you'd do this and you didn't. So they're just looking like big promise breakers. Anyway, this is where we're at. You know what I'm saying? I believe the Senate's hope is that adequate Democrats will say, we wish to look excellent in our party, save our seat, get money out prior to the election and push something through. But we'll see. You know what I'm saying? I mean, now this next thing, you know, I'm going to say is a huge deal. Okay. So let's focus. Mitch McConnell said that although they're trying to get a targeted bill through prior to the election, since Mnuchin and Pelosi have actually actually been at a stalemate, you know, since July. Uh, McConnell, McConnell stated that, uh, you know, if they can come to an arrangement this week, an agreement this week, that he will put the proposal on the floor in the Senate and enable it to be voted on. Now, he's not saying that the Senate will do, but he's stating that I will not hold it back from being voted on in the Senate. You see what I'm saying? So it's still a process that has to be uh, acted on and the process has to be waited on while it's being in motion and being done. You know what I'm saying? So he's not saying that it'll actually get done. He's saying that he'll put it forth. You know, that's a huge deal, though. you know, because that's just more time waiting. You know, so since they currently passed the two point two trillion dollar, you know, mini heroes act and it didn't even go to vote due to the fact that they thought it would not go anywhere from the from the beginning. So the stalemate continued, you know, in, in, in this case, he's just saying, listen, we just got to get something out, you know, like real fast. If Mnuchin and Pelosi or the White House and the House of Representatives can come together on an offer this week, then he'll put it to vote. So it's still a process. So that's a big offer. You know, that's sort of huge, a huge change change in what's been said in the last number of weeks. So we will see if Mnuchin and Pelosi can come together on some kind of agreement by Monday, because it's already the weekend. You know, uh, the deadline that was in Pelosi's mind, you know, is coming on. And if Mitch McConnell will honor his words by putting it to vote, you know, being that that's long going now, if he'll honor his words and he wasn't just talking, then we could see something happening before the election, like some paper being signed. Now, in concerns to stimulus check direct to people, because remember, it didn't include that. But in terms of stimulus checks direct to people, you know, the plan plans that Mnuchin and Pelosi are so-called working on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as of right now, you know, that still has a stimulus check worked out that would go direct to people, American people, us. So what we don't know yet is will they choose Pelosi's bill, which is $1,200 to all adults and about $500 to all dependents. So, you know, that number has jumped almost half its size, then back down half its size. They keep playing with that number, $500 for dependents. But after all this time that they've waited, you know, they should just give $1,200 to everybody because so many people are behind. But remember her bill, nevertheless, includes $1,200 for adults, $500 for dependents. Or will they go to $1,200 for adults and $1,000 for reliant kids or dependents under Mnuchin's, under Mnuchin's strategy, Steve Mnuchin? You know, that is still up in the air. However, it is still on the table. All right. So I just wish to be clear that it's still on the table. You know, the bill being put forward, you know, by the Senate does not have a stimulus check in it. So the one that they're voting on tomorrow, well, at this point, uh, we're probably looking at Monday. The one they're voting on by Monday, you know, does not have a stimulus check. You know, that's simply unemployment, small businesses, and money to 
schools. So it just seems like the focus just keeps being lost. You know, if, if they were sharpshooters, they'll be shooting all over the place. They're not focused on, you know, you put in the comments what you think, but it seems as though they're just not focused on the fact that everybody just needs money. Everybody, not just focused on schools, not just focused on unemployment people, not just focused on small businesses, but everybody. They need to have something for everybody. Don't you think? Put down in the comments what you think. So, you know, we'll just see. You know, ideally, um, I'm going to have an update every day. You know what I'm saying? But as I understand more, you know, I'll share more. Uh, this channel is not the channel for clickbait. And, you know, I'm not going to act like something happened and just misinform you. And then you'll be out there looking, saying, well, where mine? Where's mine? You know, I'm just touching on some political topics right now. You know, since right now there's still a governmental dispute that is supposed to happen, you know, that was supposed to happen Thursday on the 22nd. The argument the commission has made a rule modification, you know, the microphone, you know, um, talking about the debate, you know, the microphones, they, they had it where, you know, the person not addressing the question for that two minute duration will, his mic will be switched off. And that, that way neither Biden nor Trump could, you know, discuss, you know, the other and interrupt each other. And we could actually hear what they had to say. Uh, so that happened in the debate where, you know, it, it was a little bit more organized, you know, though President Trump, you know, even in the beginning, he wasn't looking like even up to the 11th hour, you know, he said he was planning to, to really get involved. And you saw how the debate looked, you know what I mean? Governmental candidate, you know, Joe Biden, likewise stated that he planned to be present and fully in the debate. You know, um, they canceled all their other rallies and media coverage until after the debate. You know, now some some people were saying that uh, Joe Biden, President Trump was simply doing, you know, argument preparation, while others say that they were simply just evading questions about kids abroad, organization, relationships, business relationships and, you know, hot subjects that were going to be asked about. Um, and they just needed to cancel everything else that was going on. But uh, you saw the debate. Leave down in the comments what you think. Um, how did each candidate do? You know, what do you think? And I assume we'll be having a gift card giveaway um, to some of our loyal subscribers. Uh, we're going to do a comment choosing and uh, we're going to be doing that giveaway. Depending on when we organize everything, as we get the community organized, uh, we'll be doing a gift card giveaway. I'll let you know about that. And uh, if you're listening to this today, I just want to let you know that regardless of all the maneuvering, all the uh, poker plan and all of the poker faces and, you know, the bluffs and the straight faces, you know, in the midst of all that, I just want to let you know that you're a winner and that in the end, you'll be the winner. And um, I just want to thank you for being in our community and I'll see you in the next video.